What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to traditional War of the Spark draft because we can't ranked draft, which is best of one. Right? Traditional draft, War of the Spark, ranked draft, Ravnica Allegiance. Why can't I play... Why can't I play ranked... I don't know. I don't care about... I don't, I don't like... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that hot shit. Unfortunately, I crafted all of these already, so I'm only going to get like 60 stupid gems for it, which is still stupid. But this card is still pretty bonkers, so Gideon I'm going to take Jura, it. At your service. Oh, followed by a prison realm? Man, who passed us a prison realm? A computer! Okay, we're going to take a prison realm. Oh, Sunblade Angel? Wow, these are all very good. Yeah, alright, well... And the Wanderer. Alright, we're just going to keep taking the white cards, because... Buckle under my blade. We can still take the first card in every pack. This time it would be a Dovin. And, uh... Yeah, I'm okay with it so far. I'm impressed anyone would be so foolish as Trusted to Pegasus. Me. Trusted Pegasus and Gideon seems like a sweet combo. All right, now we might have to make a pick here. Wow, this is a hell of a, hell of a first. Um, six drop, four drop, three drop, three drop, three drop, three drop. Probably just want the two drop. We already have three planeswalkers. Uh, I actually do like Bulwark Giant. It does help you. Sur it's a really hard to get through in this format. It seems like. And, um, it definitely does a great job of blocking for your Planeswalkers. Yeah, we're just going to take the Mono White deck for the first. Eh, I'll just take Makeshift Battalion. It's it's not great, but it's fine. It does, a, it does a thing. Three Planeswalkers already? We'll take a Light Shield, sure. Eh, take the Strix. I can see being Blue-White. Eh, maybe a Crunch Wrangler. Courage, and eh, we'll take another Martyr, sure. Massacre Girl. Oh, interesting, interesting. Hmm. Well. Yeah, I think it's probably just Massacre Girl here. And now we can be Black White. I like Enforcer Griffin. I also like Bond of Discipline a lot. I think this card's great. It just, it just, it wins you the game. Let's be honest. Also, Kaya's ghost form on a on a Gideon Blackblade is pretty nuts. Kaya's ghost form on a Massacre Girl also not terrible. Oh, Massacre Girl does kill our Gideon. Well, if it gets that far, you know. We can also take Arlen and not necessarily have to be black. I actually kind of like that. Leave my territory. The bug flying around here. It's myself. making me. It's making me uneasy. How good is Huali here? Everyone on everyone on Twitter. Everyone not on Twitter on uh on YouTube was giving me shit about taking the Hawatli and like, so they're like, you have a really good S uh, feather deck, why would you take this? And I'm like, because it's my literal third draft and I kind of want to see what strategies work in the format. It was very weird. Battlefield promotion is probably the pick actually. It's like, it's a, it's a solid trick. Um, and we don't know if we're green yet, so I'll just take the promotion. Ooh, Narset. Not great and limited, we've realized. Strix is fine. Oh, Badger, what's going on, my dude? Uh, Spark Harvest could be good if we are black. Yeah, I kind of like Spark Harvest. Oh, 
Oh man, it's Saturday morning there. What a time to be alive. Ah, Soren's thirst could be fine. We could also take Zhang Yang or just Rising Populace. We do have a lot of three drops already though. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a good amount. I kind of just like Soren's thirst here. Excited for Star Wars tonight? What does that mean? I think it's probably Soren's thirst. Uh, Define Strike is fine. Nothing exciting. These are both fine. Toll has been surprisingly decent. Eh, War Screecher is okay. Do we have a topple already? I think we. I thought we took a topple, but I, I think I'd rather just have the the War Screecher anyway. Another Teo's Light Shield, which again is decent because we have. A bunch of planeswalkers to protect. I think it might be Shriek Diver though. Yeah, we'll take the Shriek Diver. Oh, I like Vampire Opportunist a lot. Oh, the Kai's Ghost Form. That's pretty good. Alright, so we're basically done. Oh, Neheb, another Wanderer. I like this Law Rune Enforcer. I like, also like Soren's Thirst number two. Let's see, we're not playing. Yeah, I'll take the Rune Enforcer. Going to see Empire Strikes Back with the music being done live by Symphony Orchestra. Wow, that's insane, dude. That sounds amazing. Uh, Cruel Celebrant or Trusted Pegasus? Oh, it's got to be Obnixilus Cruelty, right? Yeah, it's got to be Cruelty here. That's just some premium removal right there. Um, another Light Shield, I guess, is fine. I don't care about Operative or Charity Abstractor or a second Bulwark. Whereas Light Shield actually, it's fine. I've been more impressed with Light Shield. Spark Reaper seems great. Aid the Fallen seems real good here. Getting back a Gideon. Oh yeah, we'll take that for sure. Uh, take the two three fire. Why does that make a noise? Oh, Divine Arrows, fantastic. Uh, another Opportunist. I think the Opportunists are probably better than some of the two drops we have. Yeah, I don't think we're going to play another ghost for him. Sure. Oh, aid the Fallen? Hmm. Maybe we play two? I don't know. Wow, we could just board into like four light shields against the aggressive decks. Alright, let's take a look at this in long... One, one Soren, one Aid. Do we have another Soren? Did we get two Soren's Thirsts? No. Okay. Two Martyr, two Vampire Opportunists. We need two cuts. I could see cutting. How many creatures do we have? 13? Ugh. That's a yikes for me, dog. I could take Toll out of the main deck, I think. And... Probably the Light Shield. And then we have four Light Shields on the sideboard. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, Dovin's usually fine. I don't really have a problem with Dovin. It shuts down their biggest thing. I don't think we really need him here, though, so I could see playing Makeshift Battalion. Just so we have another creature. Yeah, I like that better. Additionally, I think there's I think people are going to have to uh, get to a point where they they know when to play Planeswalkers and when not to. Because I think it kind of feels almost automatic where you're like, I got a Planeswalker, so I'll just play it in my deck. But I don't think that's correct all the time, as, as evidenced. And if you guys are looking for ways to support the channel, you can definitely head on over to MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns on super comfortable micromodal uh, underwear, lounge pants, socks, tees, you name it. They have a ton of different clothing options. And uh, they're super comfortable. So check them out. 15% off. Free shipping. Free returns. What, what, what more could you ask for? What more could you ask for? The answer is nothing. How'd the late night stream go last night? Uh, we went 0-2 in our first draft and then 4-2 in our second draft. So not too bad. Your loss will either be a tragedy or comedy of errors. A comedy of errors. So My name is try. David Bald. You're not entirely incompetent. Oh, that was I thought this was the three drop. It just costs more because of Dovin. Well, that's sad, isn't it? Okay, well, one the turn, I guess. Burr, 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 burr. I was like, oh, a three mana? It's a white card? It's got some dudes in it? Alright, it's gotta be the makeshift battalion. Oh, it is not the makeshift battalion. That is much different. Standard elves? How's that even gonna go? Are there any? I don't even know how many elves are in standard right now. Thank you. Fry Wilco, welcome back. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a mic? That is not a question that anyone needs to be asking or answering. That's just weird. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. What'd they take? Omnixilis' cruelty. Boxes are made to be thought outside of. Well, you just let him go, right? Sure. Even with my insight, I didn't foresee this. Drawing a Gideon would be sweet, because then we can immediately put the uh, Kaya's Ghost form on him. Is 
So this guy's going to be a 3-3. Three, three. But if we kill it, it's going to be a 2-2. Two, two. That's unfortunate. That makes everything awkward. So now there's... Actually, we should have left it and then we had the battlefield promotion. That probably would have been better. That's fascinating. No, no, okay. Well, that's fine. Interesting. We'll just take four here, five here, whatever. And then we'll let you kill whatever you're gonna kill. Oh, this guy. Oh, that's fascinating. I'm done. Eh, I've killed bigger. Hmm. Gonna block here. Put a counter on this. I think the damage is done. I mean, for four mana, it XL to four five, and we get to prevent three damage. I think that's actually fine. Come on, Gideon. That seems good. Today I dropped my victory. I mean, you got a block here. You can't take six, right? I guess you could. What do I know?
Yeah, I agree. I always think the Skylord should fly. I was like, you're flying too, right? And he never does. You got it, little bird. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was... Oh, because I think they knew we had Spark Harvest, so we're just like, oh, they're just going to kill our bird and then attack us for a million. Seems good. Uh, I like Toll because they have things. Take the Kaya's Ghost form out. There's a lot of moisture up there. You ever seen a corpse after a few hours in the clouds? Well, then why is he giving the zombies flying? Yeah, I'll keep this. All right, we got that. Uh, got that Gideon mana. Attacks. I don't want to trade one one for two one. That just seems terrible. This is so many things that we're doing here. I kind of just want to get rid of this. Like if they play a planeswalker next turn, we get to scry on it. They get to they get to buff this dude. And that's just bad news. Oh, and five won my first war draft. Nice. Congrats, buddy. Okay, well, mono blue does not seem to be what their deck is, but I guess Dovin is fine. See, they would have been able to proliferate onto this guy. Your defects don't seem to bother you. Oh, this costs four, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, that's awkward. It might still be better, just to see what they have going on here. Yeah, I think it's fine. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Ashiok. Crying out loud. Yeah, I'm just getting rid of Ashiok here. Why didn't they play that instead? Yes, 
study in contrasts. I'm excellent in your... Well, not. So they block here. It takes one. We have another vampire. We know they have cruelty that they can't. They can't cast anything. Yeah, this is fine. Then we get to play three things. Good, but I doubt you can do better. All right, infinite dudes. This is all I had left, so I figured this will get give you good luck. Mork, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Mork Roth reminds me of Mark Rothko. Mork Rothko. Oh, they finally hit a swamp. So they have Obnixilus' cruelty to kill this uh, makeshift battalion with. Which they did. So long, my friend. <sighs> May angels carry you to your rest. Your defects don't hmm. seem to bother you. Your defects don't seem to bother you. I mean, the bird costs six mana to activate. I don't think he's terribly scary. Like, if you want to spend six mana... Cyborg Yui, have a good night, buddy. Um... Not to be repeated. That's why I was crawling a bird. Yeah, that's true. In the art, he's killing that bird. It's really weird. The art's really scary. How'd you lose? Our opponent had Liliana. It was very good. And block here. Oh, fascinating. Well, that seemed decent. Putrid, but 
effective. Ocean man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land, understand. <laughs> Your boldness is so We're going to play this now because if we draw another land, we can activate uh, Law Rune Enforcer and Vampire Opportunist. I, I thought you would. I thought you'd like that soulful take on Good help is easy on Ween. To find in war. Kinton Kinsey, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Oh, boy. Oh, they put a transformation on my guy. You know, like you do. Mm. This feels like a job for, for the monocle. It's like that's my superhero name. toy what I couldn't act why didn't they let me activate this oh because I only have seven lands ha 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 well now I have nine jokes on you ha 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 yeah boy this is terrible The monocle is here to more easily see half of the objects. Fantastic. Yep, this is hard to beat, believe it or not. Rise. <laughs> Boy, my kingdom for a three toughness creature. Yeah, the deck seems very good. Hey, look, we found a creature. So you have two blockers. I'm just gonna alpha with everything, right? You just go block here and here. Liliana takes two. You God, it's so bad. I'm just gonna go to the next game. We're gonna save this prison realm in the future. Let's play this Davril's Shadow Fugue to get rid of all their junk. Uh, Law Rune Enforcer actually doesn't seem great here, but it, it's probably fine. Everything else seems good.
ocean man, take me by the hand. Thank you. One star peeps, five star games. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. I'll keep this hand. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we're going to hold on to this one for Liliana. I also miss Cube, but I always miss Cube. Emerson Klein, welcome back. Enjoy the content. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Congratulations on our sub baby. It's a sub baby. What's our opponent doing? Nobody knows. Can Mike be its grandfather? Sure. I don't know what's happening right now. Hey, there you go. Can we draw our Gideon once? That'd be cool. If they can draw their Liliana, I feel like it's only fair that we draw Gideon. play this because if we block next turn no escape contentious plan transmutation it's like no escape I guess no attacks seems good Proliferate twice. Sure. So now we can play Wander and actually get rid of this guy, which is pretty cool. Well, the owner of Jimmy John's is actually uh, a notorious big game hunter, and he's posed with several pictures of himself. Uh, with a shit eating grin standing over animals basically so I must return to you later. let's yeah we can no attack here Oh, there's 100% better places for sandwiches. Before they hit Gideon. The this. 
Wow, that was an amazing hit. Jesus. Wow, three removal spells and a flyer. That's just fantastic. There's the Gideon. Sweet. Alright, well, at least we get to kill this, and they only exiled a... Uh, they've only gotten rid of Prison Realm, Obnixilis, Cruelty, Sorin, Divine Arrow, Gideon, and Sunblade Angel. It's okay, we drew a, we drew a swamp, so we're actually in pretty good shape here. in their hand. One. They literally milled seven spells and uh, discarded a prison realm from us. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's one land in here, so that's seven. There are ten lands in our 19 card deck. Over half of our deck is land still. Yeah, that's actually terrible. That's not terrible, but like we can't we still just can't attack into this. Uh no attacks. <laughs> oh sure. Sure. I mean alternatively we we play that instead of Pegasus last turn. Um, and then they draw Toil, and then they rip the Pegasus from our hand. So I'd actually rather have them take that. And now it doesn't matter, because obviously they have everything. Yeah, alright, well. This is a fun match. I had a good time. Everybody played hard. And then we got our Zerta. Yep, I thought that was round two. I thought we actually won the first round, but apparently I'm just...
sure. Let's give it a go. I don't even care. This is where we draw Gideon, we don't have a white, then they go toil, and then they just take our Gideon. I do remember that song about the wanderer and how they like to roam around. That's true. They sure did like to wander. Oh shit, look at this fat cat. Fat cat coming through. Boy, I sure would like another white source so I can play two spells in one turn, but... Come on. Come on, it's Magic the Gathering, guys. We all know what's happening here. Esper, huh? Well, I'm the kind of guy that likes going around. If you want to use a thing, why are you trying to take his light shield? That was a weird. So confused. Again, a la I think a land would be nice because I can play two drop and cruelty, but alas. Hey, look at that. Fashion late to the party and it still doesn't allow us to do much of anything. That's that's just sad. Well, they have two cards left, I guess.
That's not gonna work, is it? Yep, didn't think so. All right. That's really annoying. Wow. I think God Pharaoh's statue is generally pretty bad. Rock and roll and noise pollution. I mean, it's pretty rough now because all of our hand is very, very expensive, but, you know, what can you do? I got a 1 3 and a 2 2. You think about what to do to these guys? Man, I was hoping to go to the grocery store at around 8, but uh, it's not looking good here. Eight mana. Eight mana, eight mana, seven mana. Fantastic. Can't draw like a Gideon. That would be too good, I guess. We should make a movie where rock and roll is noise pollution and a town bans it, but a group of scrappy teens still play it, but then they get punished, pushed over a cliff at the end, and rock and roll goes away forever. Wow. It got really dark. That got really dark. That's interesting. So I just got to recast that on your guy again. Baldovin's veto this. <laughs> Alright. 
yeah, I'll keep a land on top. Because that's my life now. Massacre girl ain't not pollution. So four and four and we have seven. That would be that would be too good to be true, I guess. Any land. So any land lets us play this and gains five, which is pretty good for us. Of course, if they can deal one damage to us, we're dead. All right, well, this on board is still pretty good here. All of our, all of our hand gains us life in some way. So does the vampire, so that's pretty good. Wow, Sunblade Angel is the card I care least about. Hmm. All right. Yep, that's what I was afraid of, because they just kill us if they have any trick, or if they have, like, a way to proliferate, we're just dead. So... Wow, wow, that game was insane. Jeez. Yep, Toll's definitely coming in here. By the time we had a Gideon in our deck, I'm gonna take the Kaya's Ghost form out, just for a Toll in general. I wish there was a way to deal with artifacts or enchantments in, uh white that would be great that yeah, seems fine Keep it. Take Gideon out. Stop giving yourself hope. <laughs> oh, man.
let's see what you got. Boy, this invasion's really taking a toll. You can't counter it, right? There's no negate. There's no two mana curve. Two mana curve, two mana negate, two mana counter spell is what I meant. Haji Galashi with his. Sure. Oh, I guess it's you and permanence you control. Sure. That's, that's good. I don't know why that took so long. That seems like a great play. I guess there is a counter spell for two mana. Oh, look, you have a tool too. We're having a good time. Take my, my bird. Joke's on you, buddy. Could have actually Soren's Thirst then, just attack for two. I think that would have been better. I'm having regret. So they just proliferate. Oh, it's so good if they do. This is why I should have done it on my turn. I'm just opening the door here. Again, I don't know why it's taking so long. I mean, you have the option to make a 3-3, keep your guy, and draw a card, and you've done nothing on your turn. I don't actually see why you wouldn't counter, why you wouldn't proliferate here. This is my biggest pet peeve because every individual action takes so long and you're not like using like one one clock like you're not using like one entire clock that's like i have 15 minutes for my entire all of my actions together for the entire match instead i get like a thousand micro clocks where i'm like oh i get 45 seconds per action and i think that adds up a lot more okay guess they're just Is that card a sorcery? I didn't think that was a sorcery. The one that proliferates and lets you draw a card. All right, it's an interesting choice, I guess. I guess we could just win the game. I like the MTGO timer a lot better, yeah, for sure. Because it makes each player responsible for their own time. Plus, like, if I want to get up and go to the bathroom, I can do that. Whereas I can't with the arena timer. Plus, like, again, you get situations like this where I'm just kind of waiting, right? Like, it's whatever. And we won. All right, one one. <laughs> Seems good. <sighs> what do you got? A siege breaker giant? Oh, fantastic! That's going straight into my siege breaker giant deck. I have a bucket next to my couch called the arena bucket. It's for bathroom breaks during arena matches. Wow. Wow. Uh, I'll keep this hand. And I'm just gonna probably draw the Gideon on turn two, so I think that's fine.
I was just kidding about the Gideon. We didn't draw that. We are, however, going to play. Sure. Well, that's the thing, I guess. Maybe we just kill them with this one creature. I'll counter that too, you see. I have lots of counter spells in my deck with which to combat the cards you play, disallowing you to play with them. Seems good. Man, who would have thought this little, uh, this little zombie army would have become a 10-10. They grow up so fast, you know? I'm gonna block because I don't really want to go to one. Jeez, come on, dude. God, I can't, like. It's just always so impressive to me when they always have it all. Like. I keep forgetting to change the deck in between matches. Ugh. That's frustrating. I also keep forgetting to bring in cards that deal with the artifacts and enchantments. Oh wait, they don't exist. Ah, JK. Uh, 
Uh, mulligan. Oh, look, it's Gideon, but one planes. Still gonna keep it. Don't care. Here we go. Never. Let's sneak in under that counter spell one time. Oh, we did it, boys. I march into battle as your champion of justice. I will lend you my strength. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you got a discard? Nice. It means no worries for the rest of your days. Your light will cleave the darkness. I'm actually gonna pass because if we play this and they play like Crush Ambition for two, uh, I guess they still get to a mass. Yeah, this is actually fine here because we can we can get away we can block the the two two that they make and also still pay for the the two. But if they play like No Contest, I think it's called, then like No Escape, then that's fine. It still doesn't put anything on the board. So watching me draft stresses me out too. All the rest of your days. I'm just gonna kill this, if you don't mind. Uh, let's give this guy a lifeline. Prepare for battle. Did we give this indestructible last turn? I don't know. Whatever. That was Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. It's our problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. I'm actually not liking Spark Harvest as much here. Well, it kills that fat idiot. If they make a thousand thousand. I'll keep this. It's not great, but we got a turn one drop. That's all you need, man. And any black source gets us a turn two and a three drop as well, so. Swap, swap, swap. Oh, we did it. All the rest of your days. <laughs> Kills that fat idiot. Well, you know. They know what they did.
God, if we could have Gideon here, can you imagine? They'd be dead. They'd be so dead. Yeah, I agree. You can definitely you can definitely notice certain things on Arena if you know what to look for. The problem is that everything happens so fast that it's like really hard to like keep track of that kind of stuff. I really want to play the Wanderer just so we can prevent any enter the God Eternals from nonsense from happening, but. If they have the thing that makes this guy a 3 3, it's pretty bad for us. Was it crushed dissenters or something? I just want to say that you're an amazing person, an amazing personality. Your content is a great joy to so many people, and you can tell that in chat and in Discord, you have created a community of equal awesome people from all over the world. You should feel proud. I can't speak for everyone in here, but I feel that it is a great honor to be part of the community, and so many quirks and awesomeness. Keep staying awesome. Just fix your man issues. Saxor, thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. That is awesome, man. Really appreciate that. You are also wonderful and a, and a great part of the community. And I'm glad to have you, friend. My turn? Okay. Okay. We didn't even tap this guy down. That's terrible. Are they going to no escape this? Probably. Why wouldn't they? Hakuna Matata. It means tomatoes for the rest of your days. This is a lot of lands in our hand. Hakuna Matata. Why is he singing Hakuna Matata? Nobody knows. This is going to start being good next turn, though, when we can activate it. Yeah, the wholesomeness of the message really made me uh, made me overlook all that nonsense. The nonsense of not rhymage. For the rest of your days. Atlanta's triumph. Sure. So now we have two, like, must-answer threats on the board, which is kind of nice. Oh, Liliana's triumph again! You've definitely, I think you painted yourself into a corner. Yeah, I'm like, hey, buddy, this didn't rhyme, okay? Let's get it together. I'm really curious what's going on here, so. Totally lost. Sure. Wow, three lands? Oh, that's phenomenal.
Seems good for us. Hakuna Matata. For the rest of your days. That's a carefree. For the rest of your trades. Gonna win this game. With a Shriek Diver. Boo, 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 boo. I mean, it depends on what they get here, but we could actually alpha here. They block two, they take four, and then they take another two, so they would die. I see. Hmm. I'm actually just going to sack this so that they don't get the amass, and then we still have two creatures. Actually, do I care about the amass? Like, isn't just playing this stronger? Yeah, that's fine. I think just having this on board, forcing them to have a permanent answer for this is much stronger. I'm going to save that too. Is that any target? Target creature. Can't play both. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay. <laughs> I guess that's fine. Yep, that's annoying. Guys, I'm not going to make it to the grocery store by 8 o'clock. Okay, now we're going to be able to make it, so that's good. Phil Rickner, what's going on, buddy? Uh, won't make it to the... 1500 won't make it to the grocery store bits. Boy, you know what? That's, uh... Well, you're also just helping me buy dinner, so that's nice. Phil Rickner on, uh, on dinner duty over here. Y'all got any more of them planes? Well, I guess I'll just pass. Guys, grocery store trip incoming.
Oh boy. Can you stream the grocery store trip? You just said groceries are overrated, and now you only stream the grocery store trip. This is unbelievable. I want to make the same change I've made every single game because I keep forgetting. Now that's where the magic happens. But the magic is the groceries. Sure. If we can draw Plains Gideon, I'll be like, all right, cool, we'll do it. Oh, that's a good Massacre Girl target. And by target, I mean it's a good way to, to get the chain to keep going. <laughs> You've had the magic inside you the whole time. I keep my magic on the outside, buddy. Um, I kind of want to get rid of heart fire here. Because it's the only thing that can actually kill... Massacre Girl. We play, we play Massacre Girl, they easily sacrifice the guy. No blocks. I'll take two. Ocean Massacre Girl, take me by the hand. Why aren't they playing anything? I don't understand what's going on. Oh, because we're still in combat. I was like, wait, are they passing our turn and not doing anything? Yep, you got it. So we'll go one, kill these three, two, kill this, three, kill this, and then we'd actually have... Yeah, we're just going to massacre girl here. It should wipe the little board. One is going to kill these two. Might as well get in. I don't know if it, I don't know if it works that way. Because this trigger might go on the stack after. Each other creature gets negative one, negative one. So negative one, this guy dies. These two die, and then it repeats it. So negative two, and these two would live. Oh, it does it. Oh, it does it per creature that died, not if a creature. Oh, so that's an interesting distinction. Yeah, that's pretty good. I would have liked to wait for this Thunder Drake to come down, but I think it's important to get this down and not take another six damage.
X damage to an opponent where X is the number of instant sorcery cards in the graveyard. Uh, so, one. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> You've been doing so good not missing it. Oh, this is really sad. Oh, no, it's not. Sure. Wait, why do they... It's only creature, right? Oh, that's pretty good. Um, all right, so this actually says, when are you going to make a point? When are you going to make a point? You can do it in many ways. You can rhyme it, yell it, or type it for days. But the point is that message gets through, and making a point is never about you. So as long as Frank knows that he is an awesome dude, I can both be rhyming and even be rude. So stay strong, you awesome dummy. And we all hope you later get some sweet hungry howies in your time. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. All right, well, I feel like we're doing okay here. Have some go shopping food bits, you dummy. Wow, nice. Well, that's pretty good, but I don't think we're going to need it here. Zaxor, always appreciate it, buddy. Oh boy, let's go. I read a sweet Ral J. Skidian slash fic last night, and unless you say the safe word Chicken Sunday, then I'm going to start quoting the explicit bits in chat. Chicken Sunday, sir. Chicken Sunday. Chicken Sunday. I actually think Charity Extractor might be good here. They have a bunch of 1-1 one -one idiots.
Oh, what up, Roberto? Because it's a bird. You guys get it? It's Roberto. Bird. You get it. You understand. Oh, that's weird. Robert, Robert, no, Roberto, Bert. Why don't you go by Bert? You want to play with fire, huh? Let's light it up. Let's light it up. So, yikes! That's a good one. That is a good a one. Now you've done it. Oh, it's so aggressive, dude. This is just gonna be I'm kind of tired of the angry fire mage trope. I mean, like, there's no sad, there's no like happy fire mage, right? Like, that's the whole point, though, right? Seems good. It's you burning. Okay. Sure. sure. I kind of want to watch this draft. How far away is the next draft? Uh, I don't know, actually. A little bit away. I'm also going to go get grocery. I'm going to go get food after this, so there actually isn't another one. Ugh. There's a masker girl here. I feel like it's a waste. This is this is something right here, guys. I don't know what to do. We could masker girl, which is nice. We could also just wander, play, keep up Divine Arrow for this. There are two kinds of magic. Let's cut you down. Oh, also, for a long time, you and. Okay. Does that make a 2-2? Two -two? That's a 2-2 two -two for 3? That doesn't seem very good. This Chandra is like... Getting a little out of hand here. Oh my god, they heart fired with the Wanderer out. That's insane. 
Oh, now we got a game, ladies and gentlemen. A game has been initiated. What does the Wanderer do? She prevents all non-combat damage to you and other permanents you control. No Fire can't oh, good. Wow. Is that another one? Another another Jaya's greeting? Jesus. Oh, we have the Wanderer out, so it doesn't actually do anything. I hope they do it. I hope they forget again. God, it's so easy to forget, dude. Unfortunately, this guy is problematic. I mean, we could have Massacre go go kill, 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 and then it's a uh, three for one, which doesn't seem ideal. <sighs> yeah, I just don't think we do anything here. Attack all into Chandra. They like block here, they take three. And then Wanderer dies. Nope. Don't like it. Sit back and watch it burn. I mean they're drawing two extra cards a turn, which is pretty nuts. Welp, I think we're going to I think we're going to call it here guys. So 1 2 3 would die. So it would repeat a fourth time. It would would not kill either of these. We we're like I don't think Massacre Girl wipes the board. 1 2 3 it would trigger a fourth time, but the fourth time wouldn't kill anything. So... That's pretty bad. Pretty sure we just have to play this guy. And they still have Chandra out, which like we just can't get through, unfortunately. Yeah, this is stupid. Wow, I felt like we were doing very good up until the thunder break. Oh, it's you burning. Plus, like we negated a heart fire, uh, Jaya's greeting, and the Chandra damage to the face. I think at some point. I don't know. How would it trigger five times? When it enters the battlefield, each creature gets negative one. It gets a first trigger. If a creature dies, it triggers again. So this creature would die. It would trigger again. 2-2 two, two would die, it would trigger again. 1-3 would die, it would trigger again. All creatures have negative 4, negative 4. Nothing else would trigger at a fifth time. I don't know where the fifth time would come from. We could draw like a 2 2 here, it actually should wipe the board. But then, like, we still have a Chandra that has 8 loyalty on it. And they just bounce their thing. Yep. All right.
So one, two, three, four, and now this guy doesn't die because we, oh, it's going to trigger five times and this guy stays alive. That's really... <sighs> that's obnoxious. All right, yep, we're just going to scoop here. We just can't We just can't beat this. Unfortunately, they have two flyers. We can block both of them. Both of our guys die. Yep, every time a creature dies, it triggers. That is correct. All right. Either way, deck was not as good as I would have liked it to be. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, Patreon. Check me out on manatraders.com. The link and promo code are in the description below. Check out uh, meandies.com slash franklapore. You get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And um, you can also check me out on uh, coolstuffinc.com. Promo code frank5 gets you 5% off. And you can find my articles there as well. So thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And I will see you next time.